Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay. It's good to see you. We're looking at our ninth part of the ninth series of skepticism. I just want to bring your attention to something that the skeptics will not bring your attention to. And that is the life of Christ and his influence on Western culture and Eastern culture. You know, the skeptics have a secret and they keep it hidden from you and that secret is they know that Jesus Christ is very attractive you'll find that most people are attracted to Jesus Christ even if they're skeptical and so the skeptics don't want to discuss about Jesus but I just want you to be mindful of the influence of Jesus throughout history in the Middle Ages at least 600 hospitals were set up to help people the history of science has been influenced by Jesus Christ. Throughout history, people like Gandhi have admired Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has inspired great music such as um, Handel's Messiah, the music of Bach, great painters such as Rembrandt, great philosophers such as Lebines, Immanuel Kant, and great literature such as Shakespeare's plays, Tolstoy's novels, Dostoevsky's novels. Christ has influenced the East and the West like nobody has ever influenced. How can it be that an obscure Jew from Galilee has changed the history of the world more than anybody who has ever lived. Surely it must be that he was the Son of God. The greatest question we can ask in our culture today is what do we think of Jesus Christ? To not face that question as a skeptic is really, really being anti-intellectual. The Apostle Paul says in Philippians chapter 3, Finally my brethren, Rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is, is not covetous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the circumcision. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit, and rejoice in Christ, and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath, wherein he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day on the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin a Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law a Pharisee concerning zeal persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless but what things were gained to me those I count loss for Christ ye doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ and be found in him not having my own righteousness which is of the law but that which is through the faith of which is which is through the faith of Jesus Christ which is of God by faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death by of any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead the apostle Paul was saying look I achieved everything I, I was the best of the best in my culture but I count it as nothing nothing compared to Jesus Christ all the best of your life if you could have the best perfect life that you could ever have it would be nothing compared with the excellency of Jesus Christ all that the world can offer you is nothing compared to the excellency of Jesus Christ he says that Jesus Christ was bruised for your iniquities the Son of God came down from heaven he lived a perfect life he says that by his stripes you were healed and he was arrested and he was mocked and they flogged him and then they whipped him and then they nailed him to a cross and as he was nailed to that cross, he was taking the sin of the whole world upon himself. He was taking your judgment, your punishment for your sin. 
the wrath of God fell upon Jesus Christ for you and if you want to know God then you've got to confess your sin and turn to Jesus Christ and say Lord please forgive me and as you trust in him you can have fellowship with God and it says the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin this is the great gospel it is the good news and it's everything and if you want to know God you can know him through Jesus Christ there is no other door but Jesus Christ there is no other way but Jesus Christ he is the only way I would give I would not give anything I would not swap anything for Jesus Christ he's worth everything he is the fullness of the Godhead bodily so seek him he is altogether lovely thank you